Welcome back to Linux and Windows Help. This is episode 15. If you uh, haven't installed Kali Linux yet and Metasploitable, go back and watch my episode 14 where we uh, installed them. Anyways, I got uh, Kali Linux running over here and I got Metasploitable over here. Well, we're going we're gonna to be covering uh, Metasploit today. Or more into it. We hit it... Uh, on the last episode, but I'm going to go more into it. I'm not going to be able to show every different, you know, function and everything of it, but I'm just going to show a few things to, you know, so you can get the feel of it. Basically, with, with uh, Metasploit, you can use all different kinds of programs with it. Like, it, it's basically, it's basically a terminal, terminal a application, but you can run, like, Nmap and all different kind of things all together. It's really nice. It's a real nice uh, program. Ah, it's loading slow because um, I'm recording, I guess. Well, one thing I want to show you. Type banner. See how it's got uh, I love clams, I guess? <laughs> you type banner, it changes the banner every time. There's, they got tons of them. It, just, it changes the banner every time. You can just keep on typing it. Yeah, just random. Um, one thing, well, this don't work anymore, but you can update your, uh, you know, your, your databases and everything, your exploits, your payloads. Uh, this don't work anymore, it says, because if it's running into a system, but like if you would install Metasploit on Windows or something, um, uh, it will, it will work, but, uh. Just type this in your command line, and it will update. It says to update your, you know, all your repositories first, and then install your. So it's pretty cool to, you know, keep it updated. Now I'm sorry about this. It's gonna take a while to load up, but I want to show you. If you type ex show exploits or show payloads or whatever, you know, it, it'll load up every single thing you got in there. This is going to take probably about three minutes. I'm going to go grab me a beer. Let it load up. If you need to fast forward your little mouse or something, that's good. I didn't even realize I was out of beer. That's horrible. I gotta drink water now. What the hell is water gonna do? Oh wait, I got some Malibu rum. It's taking forever, ain't it? Alright. Oh, it still ain't loaded yet. <sighs> yep, yep. Boy, you're taking your sweet ass time, aren't you? It's horrible. Lock up or something. Oh, there we go. Perfect timing. You see, there's tons and tons of exploits. You, know, you, just, you can scroll up the list and look for hours and never find anything you want because it's there's tons of them there. It's great. Kind of pointless, but uh, if you want a, a good read, you know, just read through it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and. We're gonna start the um, the hack today. I already know what the IP address is over here, but I'm gonna pretend that I don't. I'm gonna type uh, net discover. And this will show every different IP address on my network. And you'll I see my two wire, that's my router. 
And it's my Roku. I don't know what the hell that is. Probably a phone or something. This is my computer I'm on right now, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I'm done. Anyways, I already know what it is. It is 77 right here. That is the Metasploitable 2. You can type a uh, question mark, shows different commands in uh, Metasploit. You can like go to you know Google or something and type each command to learn more about it. So it's a lot of fun there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start the hack, I guess. I'm running a port scanner on the 192.168.1.77, which is this Metasploitable 2 over here. And let's go attack this guy right here. The 6667 IRC. So I'm going to type in map. Aggressive. Port. 6667. 192.168.1.77 okay, I'm connecting to the port 6667 aggressively and it should tell me what version of IRC what, what you know model and version of the IRC servers running alright what we got here it is Unreal IRC Server version 3.2.81. So I can go back down. Oh, I'm going to take a drink of my mouth a little bit. Uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. So we're going to search for Unreal. And it's 3.2.81. Right there. Exploit. Unreal. Three, two, eight, one. Back door. I'm gonna go ahead and type use. And we're gonna go and paste that dog up in there. And go ahead and type show info. In here, it will you know tell who made the when it was made, when it was found. This guy made it, and he found it in 2010. That's when it was disclosed. He might have found it, you know, a couple of weeks earlier. Or it could have been found by a black hat, uh, you know, a year before. And they just didn't say anything until the white hat found it on 2010. But yeah, we'll tell different information on it. There's websites here, I guess. So where you can see all the more info about it. It's cool. Type show options. You can also um, see what kind of payloads it got. Oh, please don't take that long. Please don't. There we go. That's good enough. It's basically, whenever you select your um, when you select your exploit. And you type show uh, payloads, it will only show the payloads that is available for that exploit. So you just. You type set payload. And then you paste it in there. And the payload is. And you can put show options. And you see the payload is now in there. And I want you to set the uh, local host, and but this is the, the normal one. We're not going to use the payload. If you want to, if you want to get rid of payloads, have I unset payload. It takes the payload off. Basically, what, what a payload is like: upload and execute a file, or you know, bind to a different port, or you know, just different things like that. 
But we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to set our host to 192.168.1.77 or whatever your computer is that is Metasploit. I don't think it's going to be the same IP address, but whatever you got going on over there. So now you can see that it's set. Go ahead and type run or exploit. And it's starting to hack. All right, we're now in there. Uh, type this config. You can see that we're in there. Oh, kind of helps if I spelt it right. You see, it's it's one nine two one six eight point one point seven seven. That's the same as what is over here. Uh, I I have root access. It's good, you know. You have root to the whole computer. And then you can type help and get a list of different things, you know, different things you can type, different things you can do. And just pretty much take over the machine. Control C gets you out of there. And from here, you can type back. It'll take you back to the main and yeah, close it down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call it that for this episode. I think we're uh, got a pretty good amount of time going on there. What do we got going on? 11 minutes. That's, that's fairly good. These are the longer videos. People just ignore. They're like, oh, it's too much shit. Right, this one, I'm gonna go, instead of hitting Control R and be fancy pants like I usually am, I'm just gonna hit pause recording call today you have a you guys have a good day and make sure you like the video share it share it to your grandma to scare her and then I want you to join the group on Facebook and join the page and, and um, definitely join my uh, YouTube channel follow me whatever all right I'm pausing it now five four three two one